Hey guys, Big Films 39 here, back with my monthly video series this month in Blu-ray, where I preview all of the major Blu-ray releases coming out in the month, and just let you guys know about the releases that I'm interested in picking up. Before I get into the video, I want to let you guys know about this really cool app that I've been promoting in all of my videos. It's called Shopkick. It's a great way to earn free gift cards. I've been using it for less than a year, and I've already earned... Uh, maybe about 30 or $40 in gift cards. It just uses your location. Uh, when you walk into stores, you open up the app and you get points just like that. Um, and you redeem these points for gift cards. Again, great for anyone who goes shopping. You don't even have to buy anything to get points. It's completely free to sign up. I highly recommend it. Check it out. Download it through my link in the description. You'll be helping me out, but you'll also be helping yourself out because it's a great free app and just uh, gives you the opportunity to earn gift cards for free. And this is their site, which you know anyone can check out. It's it, uh, you just Google it, and you can see we can read more about uh, the company here. But they have over 15 million users. Uh, there's some other statistics here. Here we go, uh, over a billion dollars in sales driven, uh, 17 million gift cards redeemed and the minimum gift card amount is $5, so you can do the math on that. It's com completely legitimate, uh, but do check it out. Again, my link is in the description. Download it. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me, but uh, check it out. All right, so back to the video um, this month in Blu-ray. I skipped uh, the video for October, and I really should have done it. There were actually a lot of good releases that came out in October that I picked up, and I will be doing a video for those releases, reviewing the Blu-rays, uh, stuff like Jurassic World, um, The Avengers, Age of Ultron. I'll have that video up within the next week, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but I just uh, never got around to it. it got to the middle of the month and I just figured uh, there's no point in doing it. But I'm back for November. Uh, there are some good things coming out. So let's get started. And as always, I'm using Blu-ray.com. All right, on November 1st, we have four Steelbooks, Best Buy exclusive. I don't know if these are the same uh, people who put out the pop art icon Steelbooks that came out around this time a year ago they look similar to me uh, but they're $15 I believe but we have Zombieland I really like the artwork on that one Lawrence of Arabia the bridge on the River Kwai and the Equalizer uh, I did not like uh, the Equalizer with uh, Denzel Washington I actually won't be picking any of those up but uh, cool artwork on those steelbooks and then November 3rd we have Inside Out we have the 3D version and the regular version, um, a couple of other versions as well. I pre-ordered this one from Best Buy. Uh, this is not the 3D, uh, but different artwork there. Comes with five collectible cards. This was 20 bucks to pre-order, and it's still that price, I believe. Um, and I did see the movie in theaters. I did a review on it. I'll link that review in the description if you want to check it out. But I liked it. Uh, the best Disney movie to come out since Toy Story 3 easily. And uh, it was just really great. I can't wait to watch it again. So I highly recommend Inside Out if you haven't seen it. Uh, there's also the 3D Collector's Edition from uh, Best Buy. I think this is 30. also comes with those collectible cards. That's, uh, that's the Best Buy exclusive, the collectible cards. That's the exclusive part. But, um, and it looks like we also have a Target exclusive. Probably comes with some bonus content, but bonus content. But I should have a day one unboxing of Inside Out. And then we have uh, Toy Story. Toy Story That Time Forgot. Uh, this was a holiday special. Came out last year around Thanksgiving. I think it was on. Um, ABC, uh, but I actually like this one a lot more than the one they released the previous year, uh, the Halloween one, um, the uh, Toy Story of Terror. I thought this was 
a lot more enjoyable and just entertaining. I mean, it's only like 30 minutes long. There's not much to it, but um, I did like this one. I wouldn't pay more than seven bucks for it, probably. Let's see, I think it's 15, 12 bucks. Um, not something I'd, I really want to pay more than 10 bucks for just because it's so short, but um, you know, if you're a hardcore Disney collector, I think it's a decent one to have. I would definitely recommend it over the Toy Story of Terror. And then we have uh, the 70s show, the complete collection on Blu-ray. Uh, I watched a lot of this show when I was younger, uh, reruns on TV, but uh, I thought it was genuinely funny. We have Vacation coming out with Ed Helms, which I did not see. Game of Thrones, uh, the complete first season. An Arrow release, Tenderness, uh, Tenderness of the Wolves. A Lego Brickumentary, I think it's just a making of video uh, for the Lego movie. I know my friend uh, Ben from Blu-ray Collector 81 did an unboxing of that. I'll try to remember to link his video. And then we have this, which looks really cool. The DC Comics <clears throat> Uber Collection, um, which comes with, I think, graphic novels for all of the movies. But it does come with six Blu-ray and DVD discs for all of those DCU movies right there. And they've released them individually. Uh, I think in September they released a lot of them. And uh, they look really cool. Uh, again, Ben over on his channel has unboxings of those. Uh, but I'm not going to be picking it up uh, just because I own the movies already. But uh, I do love a lot of the DCU animated movies. So if you don't own those, looks like a really cool collection to have. But it is pricey. I think on Amazon it's 150 and uh, at Best Buy, I think it's 100 And if I didn't show this already, it's the regular Inside Out Edition uh, Target exclusive. All right. Got some music stuff on the 6th. And then on November 10th, uh, Terminator regular and 3D version. Um... I did not like this movie. I also did a review for it. I won't be picking it up. It is better than 3, but I mean, to me that doesn't really mean much. Uh you know, I would just never watch this over one or two um ever, so you know, not a terrible movie, but I uh, I just wasn't interested in it and have no desire really to watch it again, so won't be picking that one up. Uh we have the Star Wars Steelbooks. I think everyone knows about these already, but these went up for pre-order back in the summer. We have the three originals, and we also have uh, the prequels. I pre-ordered all of them. They're 17 apiece at Best Buy, um, and I'm not a huge Star Wars fan uh, just because I'm not really familiar with the movies. I think I saw all of them, or all of the originals when I was really young, but don't remember them. And then I saw the prequels, all of them in the theater too, I think. And uh, even back then, even not being a huge fan of the originals, I was not into the prequels at all. Uh, and since I pre-ordered them, I rewatched uh, The Phantom Menace, and it was really boring. I didn't like it really at all, aside from the lightsaber battles and the Darth Maul scenes, but... I mean, at Star Wars, you got to get the whole collection and look at that great artwork. I mean, each one just looks really nice. Uh, you know, at Star Wars, you got to give me a break on that one. Uh, but I kind of regret ordering the prequels. But anyways, uh, the entire Star Wars collection on uh, Steelbook format. And then we have Trainwreck, comedy movie that I didn't see and don't really care to. Uh, Terminator Genesis, Target exclusive Steelbook, looks kind of cool, but again, I didn't like the movie. The Justice League Unlimited um, Complete Series on Blu-ray. This, uh, I picked this up on DVD over the summer. I had, had no idea it was going to come out on Blu-ray, um, but I never watched it. Haven't watched the DVD yet, and it's kind of pricey, I think, 30 bucks, but... 
the DVD was kind of hard to find, uh, used for a good price. Uh, I like the original Justice League seasons, uh, but I haven't seen this one, any of these, any of the unlimited seasons yet. Uh, but something I will be picking up at some point, just because I'm a big superhero fan. All right, and then we have a Criterion Code Unknown. Chaplin's SNA comedies. We have a couple of uh, Clint Eastwood movies, The Beguiled, Coogan's Bluff, Best Buy exclusive, uh, Terminator Genesis, just some bonus content, I think. Bonus disc, it says. Better Call Saul, the complete first season. Um, I've heard this is good. I think an offshoot of uh, Breaking Bad, but I haven't seen any of it. Best Buy exclusive for Trainwreck. And we have this cool version of Terminator Genesis with the skull. It's an FYE exclusive. It didn't have a price on here, but... Uh, if I was to get an addition, I think I'd, just, I'd get that just for the skull. I got some double packs with uh, the new Terminator movie and some of the older ones. And there's another version of uh, Genesis. Alright, on the 13th, uh, not much. 17th. I think this is the extended cut of the Battle of the Five Armies. Uh, yeah, it is. I really liked this movie uh, when it came out in the theater, and then when I got the Blu-ray and re-watched re it, uh, I just couldn't get into it at all. And then we have uh, a 3D version of the Battle of the Five Armies extended cut. Another Criterion, the Apu Trilogy. The Man from Uncle with uh, Henry Cavill. Didn't see that one. Didn't think the trailer looked good. In Cold Blood, Criterion. The collected works of uh, Hayao Miyazaki. So uh, a lot of the Studio Ghibli films. I don't. I, I don't like uh, most of the ones I've seen so far, and it's really pricey. I think it's like two hundred twenty-five bucks. So uh, definitely not interested in that one. We're back, a dinosaur story. Um, apparently, this is some popular dinosaur animated thing from the 90s, and I don't think I've ever heard of it. So uh, let me know about that. Some horror stuff. Another Arrow release, uh, Re Requiescent. All right. We have Selma. Uh, this was re released already, wasn't it? I think. I'm not sure. Okay, and the 24th, another Criterion, Ikiru. Another Arrow release, Blood Rage. All right, I think we're getting towards the end here. And on the 29th, uh, re-releases for all three of the Toy Story movies, one, two, and three. Um, I definitely would pick them up if I didn't own them already. Um, nothing really great about the artwork, but um, definitely all movies worth owning. Two, I'm not so high on, but one and three uh those are my top 10 favorite disney movies of all time all right guys that's my video for this month in blu-ray for november uh thank you for watching let me know what you guys are interested in and don't forget to check out shopkick in my link in the description uh download it um you have any questions let me know about it if you have a youtube channel and you do download it through my link let me know and I will give you a shout out in one of my upcoming videos. And be on the lookout for a couple of movie reviews from me. I'll be seeing Spectre and the Peanuts movie, which come out the first week of 
November, so next week. I'll have reviews for those. I'll have my unboxing of Inside Out uh, next week, first day. And at the end of the month, I will be seeing Creed and The Good Dinosaur. We'll also have uh, movie reviews for those. And also um, unboxings for the six Star Wars Steelbooks coming out in the second week of the month. So be on the lookout for all of that. And I will also be doing an update very soon. Um, just a normal update showing uh, all of the movies I've watched uh, in the last several months, and I'll probably do another update uh, specifically for the major releases that came out uh, within the last month or so. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.